Hello everyone, this is Sispawn, and I am back with more Legend of Dragoon. So, we stopped uh, after leaving Sully's last time, so let's go ahead and enter the forest. This will be our first area with quote-unquote random encounters. They're not really random in this game. You'll see a blue arrow over my character's head. It'll gradually turn yellow and then red as I walk around, showing how close I am to battles. And, yeah, after a certain amount of time, that red will just put us in the battle. So, it's not random in the same sense, but it works more or less the same way, so it's not that dramatic of a change. New enemy here. <laughs> Excuse me. And... Honestly, uh, it's going to be kind of boring, but I'm just going to guard up for a minute, get my health up to max without wasting the potion. And he's so weak, he won't even damage me when I'm doing it, so this will go pretty quickly. But uh, once I'm done with this battle, I'm actually going to go talk to the merchant right there. And honestly, I tend to grind up a little bit in this area before I move on to Hell in the Prison. So, uh, we'll see. I'll show some of it, but if I feel like it's starting to drag, um, I'm probably going to cut away from some of it, because it might take a while. But I think I'm going to try to master at least Double Slash, get up to maybe level 4 or 5 with Dart, and work on Volcano. Now, I'm not going to do as much as I might on the normal uh, play through this, because I don't want it to be boring yes. by over-leveling yes. early. But um, I still want to get a decent bit of leveling up before I move on. So we'll see. I mean, I think I've gotten to like level 7 or 8 before even leaving this place before, which is pretty ridiculous, but... When you have time, and you play this a million times, I guess it's, uh, it happens. In these troubled times, you have to protect yourself. What do you think? You wanna buy something? Buy something. I'm probably honestly not going to buy much, but I just thought I'd go to this screen here. Merchant screen, nothing too crazy if you've played any of these type of games before. The only thing I'm probably going to buy is one body purifier. And... Let's see, I've got a couple burnouts. Got five healing potions, and you don't need charm potions, like it says. It reduces the risk of enemy encounters, just, just those quote-unquote random battles. But, um... I like the experience and I like fighting those, so I never buy these. The only time I guess you would need them is if you were extremely low health and needed to get to somewhere you could get some potions or something, or if you wanted to go from a save point to a boss without fighting the battle, but regardless, I never really use them. So we are going to go ahead and leave. Don't you want to know how to use the items? I can teach you that. No thanks. Anywho, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of run around here. Oh, we have a chest here. Got another healing potion for ourselves. Good thing we didn't waste our money buying one. And yeah, so for a little while it's just gonna be me fighting these. There's a couple different enemies here, but not a lot of variety either, so it really wouldn't be that interesting to watch me grind. Unless you want to watch me hit double slash over and over and over again about a hundred times. And that's how many times, it, successful times it takes to master edition is, I think it's 99 or something. So, I'll be here for a while. Yep. But I'll show some of it, and then if I feel like it's getting way too boring, I'll just cut away. I think I might go until we see the other enemy in the area at the very least, and then I'll probably cut away and just record before coming back. I'll cut away and stop recording. And I'm going to try to show you every single important part of the game, but I mean, there's probably only so much grinding that you guys want to watch. Especially when there's no real enemy that pose a threat. Later on, when I train, there will be a lot more challenging enemies in certain places. 
and there will be different characters for me to use, and different additions to use, so it'll be much more interesting to actually show stuff on camera at that point. But for now, you're basically going to be seeing the same battle and over and over again. Yeah, they are to level 3. Yeah. I can't remember. I know I've gotten to like pretty close to 10 before going to Helena on this area. It makes the whole first disc way too easy. Here we go, there's a goblin and uh whatever that thing is. Goblin and an assassin cock. No, that's not at all jokeable. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and guard my health up since I leveled up. I now get 9 health per guard since my health is at 90. Like I said, you get 10% of your health back every time you guard, as well as having uh, damage against you. So the guard mechanic is actually really handy in this game. Especially, um, I think one big reason they put it in it or put it in there and why it's useful is you actually have a limit on the number of items you can carry. So I think it's like 32, so you can't just stock up on all kinds of crazy potions and other stuff. And certain um, items of a more permanent nature will start to fill up your inventory if you collect them. So it's just one more way to heal without making it too ridiculous. But yeah, we'll go through one or two more battles and um, probably cut away then. I think we've seen all the enemies in this part of the area. And I'll come back before I leave this little area. I'm not going to skip through this whole forest. There's just not really much reason to leave this area while you train if you get the best encounters experience-wise from here, from what I remember. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut away here, and I'll probably come back when I reach around level 5. So I'll see you then. Hello everyone, this is Sispawn, and I am back. Uh, I finished doing my leveling here. Let's go put the menu up. Uh, as you can see, I got to level 5. It was 200 experience, so I got a couple over. And went ahead and just stopped training there. Um, I got... Yeah, 55... Double slashes are done now, so I'm almost up to level 4, and then we'll only have 20 more left from there until we get it mastered, and then we'll move on to Volcano, which will do much better for us as far as damage, but um, we'll just go ahead and finish Double Slash for now. All the enemies are basically one hit at this point anyway, so might as well get it out of the way early. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on through the rest of the forest here. flashback here pretty soon. Uh, charm potion. Probably not gonna ever use that, honestly. Okay, maybe the flashback is in a little bit. I think it's on the way out of this maze area. Or it could be another time I go through here. I don't really remember off the top of my head. Yeah, new enemy there. It's a Trent or Tree End. I don't remember which way they spell it. Yes. 
Alright, so in this maze area, there are a couple of items to get. And... I do not remember off the top of my head which path to take, so we'll just kind of experiment here. There's one. A burnout, cool. Let's see... Aha! Uh -huh. Open it, please. Oh, wrong button. I switched some of my controls around, so if I sit there and look stupid, it's because I'm eating the, eating the wrong button for a little bit. And I think it was this way. Oh, battle time. It's a trend. Interesting. Yes! Alright. The battles at this point aren't really going to be all that interesting. I only have one character, so you're not going to be seeing any other additions or anything, but that'll change soon enough. Ah, oh, right. It's the up path. Yep, here we are. It reminds me. Wait. This way, this way. <laughs> Cut it out. Leave Shane alone. Hang in there. I'll get you out from there. Alrighty, so we're just about out of our first area here. It's nothing too crazy, just like you'd expect. Well, our first free area. Yes, Sally's coming. Yes! <sighs> Alrighty, and Helena is right down the road here. And yeah, you can run into random battles on the world map, and they are more random rather than time, as opposed to when you're actually yes. in one of the areas. And while you don't tend to run into as big battles, so you don't get as much experience, you will run into unique enemies that give you very, um nice rewards a lot of the time, so not really an issue now, but we will run into them later in the game. To Helena. How can I sneak in? Convenient.
definitely probably won't be using that in any way, shape, or form. But just in case, let's follow. Oops. Eh. My bad. I see. Good meat and fish. Sir Frugal will be happy. You bought a lot recently. Is there something going on? It's not the business of a merchant like you. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm a speck the move. Okay, press the button. I am the sneakiest man alive. How does he not see me? Seems to be okay. I looked for about two seconds. Oh man, he's a ninja. Go dart. Go. It's a fiery death pit. I just want to know where that thing pulling the wagon is. It's like a four-horned rhinoceros or something. Make that six-horned. Yeah, I made it. To hell. I made it to the safe place, is actually what he's saying. And save really quickly. Alrighty. Let's go talk to that merchant guy. Thought he was this way. Maybe not, because apparently that's all that's this way. At least the other way. Well, at least we got a burnout. Oh, there he is. Who? Who are you? I'm the ninja who snuck on your wagon. I'm discovered. This way. Oh, what a douchebag. He didn't even know who I was. I could have been someone who worked there, and he just ratted me out. Maybe I was sneaking back from my lunch break and now I'm in trouble. Oh, let's guard our health up really quickly. Their weapons are so weird, they're like... Spear clubs. I'm not sure which they're supposed to be. That's good enough for now. And let's kill him. Yeah, still a one-hit kill just with double slash. Hey, help me, I'm just a delivery man. Be quiet, I'm not going to kill you. Yet. Uh, okay, I won't make a noise. Let's talk to you. I told you I won't make a noise. I will be unloaded until you finish your business. Oh, hey, you. If you are short on items, just tell me. I sell those too. Because, you know, they won't care if I aid and abet someone who's breaking in. Let's see what he has. Now we run into a couple new items. Obviously, you see the healing potion. I have 12 of them. But we also have Angel Prayers here, which are basically, if you play Final Fantasy, they're Phoenix Downs. Except for, instead of um, only giving you a little bit of health, they give you half health as well as reviving you, so pretty darn handy. So we're going to buy four, just five of those. We're not going to need near that many, or for a long time, but might as well just buy them all at once. That's nothing I'm really saving up for at the moment. And buy one spark net. Not really anticipating using that yet. Huh? Mm, yeah, that's all we'll need. 
mainly all the attack items I'm getting now are just going to be used in, on the boss in the future. Because I don't need them for random battles most of the time. I'd rather work on my additions, save money that way, and, um... Oh, and encounters here work differently. These guards, if they see you, will chase you. And you can run in circles, uh, unless you're sucky like me and get caught right away. So you can have fun with it and just lead them on a fun little chase. And they'll chase you until you leave the screen or you get caught. But all of these guys respawn when you leave the screen and come back, so... You can train up just as easily here. In fact, even easier in a lot of ways because it's a lot shorter between battles in certain areas. And the experience isn't great, but eventually you'll run into bigger battles than just one guard at a time. And let's go ahead and fight these guys just because I can. Hey, hey you. No, I just want directions. Ah! Oh well, now I have to kill you. Yes. I just wanted to go Hush. see Sir Frugal. He sounds so noble. Uh, well, you're dead now. Anywho, I could go this way. I don't think I need to yet, though. And, you know, I could sneak around the guard by going up here. Huh, oh, there's not a guard at this stage. Later on, there will be. Oh, so this is the way I can't go this time around. Okay. Back to the way that I said I didn't think we needed to go. Huh, I guess the guard doesn't come away. Doesn't come back right away in certain areas. Hello, guard. I'm just gonna fight you instead of sneaking past you. I like experience. And that is one thing I like about this game, is training isn't really that big of a deal. As far as the grind, because you can just guard to get your health back. I mean, unless you're in a particularly challenging area, you can train without having to waste any healing items, so... It's good stuff. Six more experience. Oh yeah. And I cannot get this item on the top of my screen from here. Alrighty. Let's move on here. And we have an elevator and a save point. I'll go ahead and save. Not that I'm super concerned. At all. Literally just a few minutes away from my last save point. Alrighty, let's head in here. And lots of fun little guards to fight here. Awesome. Say hello. Say hello. Hey, hello, bastard. That's rude. I love how he goes into his sprinting stance when I'm half an inch away. And none of his friends come help him. He's not very popular. Yes. I'm very stealthy as I yell out double slash at the top of my lungs. Oh well, let's go kill his friends. We. Uh <laughs> Sorry, just gonna have some fun with it. Yes! Double 
<sighs> okay, let's kill this guy and then we'll get all the items in here. Alrighty. So we've got 50 gold here, nice. A leather jacket. And Angel's Prayer, and I have six of those things. That's a lot. And I cannot equip that leather jacket. Maybe I'll get another character who can. And was there one down here? Nope, that was all the items. Alrighty. Let's leave. Now I'm curious, do they come back right away? Aha, I wasn't just making stuff up. They do come back. certain areas. Alrighty. Up the elevator. Alrighty. Looks like the only place we can go is here, so let's do it. Move quicker! Move quicker! Arg. You have such bad luck. You will regret not being killed on the battlefield. What do you mean? You really believe you can live comfortably in the jail? The head warden Frugal will feed you to the monster. Oops. Feed us to the monster. I won't let you humiliate us anymore. Oh, feisty feisty. It's the worst kind of POW. But the best kind of feed. If you want to kill me, kill me now. I won't let him! Sir Lavitz! You! You bastard! You broke out of the jail! Silly guy! You think you can escape from here alone? I'll take care of this, survive, and go back to Indo's castle alive! Tell King Albert! I won't let you! Oh god, they died! I took care of those guys. Bam. Is this civil war? You, who are you? Are you a dog of Basil too? Who's Basil? Kia. Who are you? I should probably fight and then ask questions later. I am Dart. I am not your enemy. Eh, works for me. I am Lavitz Lambert. I am head of the first knighthood of the Kingdom of Basil. Well, it seems we don't have time for introductions. Yay! New character! Everybody, meet Lavitz. He has a spear and his additions are ungodly slow. Yeah, now we get three guards. I will probably miss his first yes. edition because it takes some getting used to. We'll see. Ah, never mind. It's simple enough. It's when you get to the ones later on where it's weird. You'd think the fast ones would be difficult, but there's just so much gaps in the timing on his later editions that they just get ridiculous. But he's one of my favorite characters. Yes. 
unfortunately for us, I don't think he starts at level 1. That would be annoying. Okay, these are these spark nets that we bought from the merchant. Now, when we use them, they'll look yes. different. They're actually, all the attack items, or most of them in this, are based off of rap rapid button pushing. And the faster, the more you hit them within the time you're given, the uh, bigger they get and the more damage they do. However, the enemies never seem to be very capable of that early on, so they only do a couple damage with them. I will carry out your wish. You said dart? I can imagine there's somebody who intentionally comes to Helena. What are you up to? I am here to rescue someone important to me. Do you know anything about her? Her name is Shanna. I'm sorry, but... I'll look elsewhere. Wait. I'll go with you. I thought you had to go back to the castle as soon as possible. She's important, this girl you were looking for. It's my problem. It was my fault. I don't know what brought you here, but Helena's not that easy to go through alone. <laughs> I think you're wrong. But we'll see you near you. goes for me too. Okay, yeah, that I can believe. But I could break out from here together with you. Of course, with the girl. How can you trust me? We've just met. That raid you made was quite impressive. I trusted you to guard my back. That's the way I think. Alright, let's go together. Yay, so we officially have Lavitz as a party member. Oh god, they killed Shanna! They killed her! Okay, it's probably not Shanna. Dart probably would have had more of a reaction then. Poor thing! And I honestly don't remember exactly which door she's in, so I'm just gonna be looking around. I just didn't want to fight. Why did they have to be sent to this hell? Wardens were saying that girls can find in the second prison tower. Why are they making so much noise about just one girl? Well, that's convenient. <sighs> they keep a spark net in here and haven't tried to use it to escape? <sighs> hey, where's Shanna? Wow. Super duper slow right now. There we go. Yay, and now we get two guards each time we fight. So we get the same experience we were getting before as it's split between both of us. That's good, because otherwise the leveling would be horrendously slow. And I'm pretty sure once we get Shannon, three guards yes. battle. So. Double flash. Double flash! Yay! That was extremely easy. Alright, well, for now, let's just keep walking. We'll get somewhere eventually. Let's go here. Yay! Who is it? It's me, Dart. We're gonna kill you. Ah, uh, just one guard. That's lame. Down. Mm. <laughs> Gosh, Lavitz can't even kill in one hit. Yes. Oh well. <laughs> that just means more additions. Speaking of, I need to check on Double Slash, see if we can't move on to Volcano already. Okay, so we'll to level 3, but he's not too far away from leveling up, so... No big deal. And... 
Right. That's what I was doing. Ah, uh, five more, and then we'll get to move on to Volcano. Okay. Well, everybody, I think I'm going to go ahead and head down to the save point here and call this a video. I have no idea how long this has gone on, honestly, so, uh, yeah. Next video, we will continue along our infiltration of Helena and attempt to rescue Shanna. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I will see you next time.